I wouldn't go all the way to the top. You can go up. We're both getting up. Huh? We're both getting up. Mama, get up here with me. I'm sitting. Get up here with me. Get up here with me. I'm gonna sit and video Papa. Huh? I'm gonna sit and video Papa. Shoot him off of that horse. I need a fire gun. I can have a fire gun. Careful, buddy. I can have a fire gun. A fire gun? I need it. I need one. When Papa, Papa has that horse. Please give me one. Please. No, I don't want to shoot Papa off that horse. I need to get a fly gun. I need one, Mama. He'll help you get him backing up. <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll get him kid broke. <laughs> so, pretty good. I haven't ridden him with a snapple for a few days. Out dogs, out. But the thing you might notice here is, uh, of course, he's right in the snapple bit, and he's he's real soft, and he is so sensitive. Where was he? But the thing you might see is the dogs are gone. <laughs> and uh, Look remember at me, one of the Papa. other videos, there were kids and dogs everywhere. Still got the kid, but the dog, the kid's not under control, but the dogs are. <laughs> Whiskey, come here. So most of the dogs. They. Uh, Whiskey, come here. They. I never have had dogs running around my round pen before, and I just kind of left them alone and kind of just do a little bit to fix it. But when the excitement got with uh, with the. Uh, horse and then Mesa's dogs got excited and they just but now they like dose just came in I'll just say outside dose outline or red uh, trace and so if you'll just take a picture look around behind you there so trace outside out and so then that'll do right there so that I just got that out it actually helps with you working with cattle and everything so so whatever we uh, but when the excitement comes on, they just lost it. And that wasn't good for me, the horse or the dogs. I see that. So the thing with this guy, 
like today I, I led him with me over to move some cows and came back. I turned him in the corral this loose with the saddle on, went and did some stuff, came back. I come in and he, I must have startled him or he woke, went to sleep and I woke up and he blew up and bucked around there for 10 minutes after he'd been saddled for an hour. So I don't know. I think what he needs is just like a lot of time just camping on him. And they used to tell me that Tom Dorrance, like when they were moving cows, he owned kind of a snorty horse or something whenever they're doing something. When they ate lunch, he'd eat his lunch on the horse. He wouldn't get off. He'd just sit on his horse and eat lunch. Just stay on him the whole lunch hour. Hey, and just get a horse relax and be calm some, with him. So maybe hey, that's what this guy needs. Just get a lot a of that. Horses. This right here, just sitting I get and a, uh, letting him relax. Then maybe, hey, I, maybe take a step back, if you will. Oh, that's nice and soft. Good, that's fine. And then relax. And then maybe just see if I can just take his hind quarters to the right to step. Just his hind quarters. Get his feet set right. There. And then just relax. Now maybe I'll just take his front end to the left a quarter just a step. And I'll just work on these little things. Where he's kind of got to think. There, he made it. And then we'll just relax. And maybe the hind quarters to the left this time. Good. Perfect. That's all right, right? Or Wh whiskey. whiskey. Come here. Ow, ow, whiskey, ow. come here. Come good. here. Then we'll just ask his front to come across to the right. Very good. Whiskey, come here. Great. Then maybe just get him to look across to his left a little bit. Stop moving his feet. Look good. Out of the right. With him, it might do him just as much good just to do a lot of sitting <coughs> and then start. And I'll go three or four steps. Ask him to stop. And I'll ask him to step back a couple of steps. Soft if he can. His hindquarters kind of get in the way. I might have to move them over just a little bit. There you go. See, now he can move his front end. Very good. And we'll let him relax. Now maybe I'll just step off him and then step right back on. And let him relax. I think for him that's probably as good as loping around the pen. Anyway, that's a, he's a great, great horse. My knuckles still hurt from when he bucked last week. He bucked hard enough where I slam him my. I had to hold my rope and I slammed my fingers into my pommel and my knuckles are still swelled up, so I don't want that to happen again. My knuckles can't take it.